Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Cara Downton and this is my first ever video which I'm really scared about but today I'm going to be bringing you this green turquoise eyeshadow look. If you want to see how I did it then please keep on watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and comment down below the sort of videos that you'd like to see from me. I do a lot of illusions and like creative makeup looks over on my Instagram which will be linked down below if you'd like to check that out. If you'd like to see how I achieved this look then please keep on watching and yeah. I'm going to start off by doing my eyebrows and um, for my eyebrows I like to use the NYX Tame and Frame. This is a really good brow product and a lot of people ask me about my brows so if you guys want to see a video on it then just comment down below. And then to carve out my eyebrows, I like to use the Revolution Conceal and Define in the shade 9. So I'm going to go and do my eyebrows off camera and then I'll be back. Okay, so now I've got my eyebrows on and before I do anything, I'm just going to put some moisturiser The moisturiser I like to use is the Nivea Men's Moisturiser. I've used this for ages now. And I'm not going to be doing my face now, but I'm just going to be doing it while I do my eyeshadow. And I'm not going to put any on my forehead just because I've just put concealer there where I've carved out my eyebrows. I'm going to show you the look that I'm going to be doing today. And Holly Boone posted that. I love Holly Boone. She's one of my favourite YouTubers. But I was so nervous about posting a YouTube video just because I'm not sure how people are going to react. So that's why it's like taken so long for me to actually get a video together. I have tried and filmed so many, but every time something goes wrong, and it's like something's telling me not to do YouTube. So hopefully this one actually goes well. So I'm going to start off by using the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. This is really good. And all I'm going to do is just put a light layer of it over my eye. And then the same for the other side. Okay, so now my eyes are primed. Throughout this video, I'm going to be answering some of the questions that you guys asked over on my Instagram. Okay, so one of the questions is, how old are you? And I'm 15. I'm 16 next month on the 19th of July. And I'm really excited because oh, I feel like I've been 15 forever and, like, literally all my friends are 16. There's not that much more you can do when you're 16, but it's just, like... I would just prefer to be 16. Now I'm going to be taking the Jaclyn Hill palette. I don't know what it's called because they're all on the back. But it's just this like brown transition shade. On the BH Cosmetics number 5 brush. I'm just going to blend that into my crease. Someone also asked me who's my biggest inspiration. I don't know how you pronounce her name. But I think it's something like Mimles. She's like an illusionist makeup artist. Her Instagram's just, it's incredible. I love her so much. She's one of my favorite like like people when it comes into the makeup industry. I also love Nikki Tutorial. She was actually the one that inspired me to start doing illusions on my Instagram, if you don't know already. I posted like a mask makeup look and it was just so sick. And then from then on, I was just like, I need to start doing these. And people started liking it and I was like, oh, maybe I should like keep doing this or whatever. I just started getting inspiration from other makeup artists and YouTubers and people on Instagram. I'm really happy that I did start because I've been able to talk to so many more people. And I'm going to be taking the Main Squeeze palette from Colourpop. The shade Froze. I don't know if that's how you say it. And putting that over... The transition shade, just a light layer, just to make it a little bit more pinky. Someone also said, what do I want to achieve with my Instagram and my page and everything? I just want to like, I want, I want to obviously grow it. And when I'm older, I actually want to get into like film sets and do like prosthetics for people and like films and everything. That'd be so cool. Show people what I can do and everything like that. Like just like the basics really and then I wanted to start YouTube so people could like see how I do things and people follow me more because of like the illusions and everything I do 
I wanted just to like have like a sit down chat so you guys get to know a little bit more about me before I start posting. Move on to the green. Okay, so from the Jaclyn Hill palette again, I'm just going to be taking this green shade down here. Put that on my eye. I'm going to be going in with like a much brighter green on the top of this. It's more of like a transition shade for the green. And I literally love it when I get like DMs and everything saying, oh, you're a big inspiration in that. I'm like, well, that's like crazy because that's how I look at other people. I never thought someone would like look at me that way, if you know what I mean. I'm just going to take the same shade and like pack it on. Okay, that's a lot more pigmented now. And I'm just going to like blend out the sides. I've been doing makeup since I was was in like year seven which i think i must have been like around 11 years old and my mum actually used to chuck away my makeup because she didn't like me wearing it because she thought it'd ruin my skin but i would always buy more but now she's all right with it the more she chucks it away the more i'm gonna buy it so yeah i've literally filmed so many videos but every time something goes wrong and i don't know why it's like something's telling me not to do youtube trust me i've tried i've tried to make a video I make multiple videos Oh my god, look at that fake timeline. Oh my god. I'm going to be taking my Carnival palette and I'm going to be taking the shade Mint over the green because it's a lot more vibrant. Pop it over the other eye. I'm going to keep building this colour because as I blend it, it does fade away a little bit. And then one more time, I'm just going to go over the green, just to make sure it's the most pigmented that I can get it. Okay, so that's all I'm going to be doing for the eyes. It's just like greeny. So I'm just going to be taking the deep clean wipes from Primark. I'm just going to be using these to get rid of the fallout. There was only a little bit, but... And to wipe the rest of my face. Okay, and again, I'm just going to be taking my moisturiser from Nivea. All over the face, but I'm just going to use more this time. I'm then going to be taking my Yes To Moisturising Oil. I'm just going to bring that all across my face. And I'm just going to rub that in my hands. So someone said, what's my favourite look I've done so far? So I'm going to get a picture of it. I actually have two. These are both neck illusions. But this is the first one. I don't know if you can see it. And then the second one is where it looks like it's tied up. You'll obviously see these more clearly on my Instagram if you want to check that out. So I'm going to be going in with the Revolution Conceal and Define again. Put concealer on first. Because when I saw Tati's video with, I think his name Scott Barnes. The way he did her makeup was just so pretty. So now I do the same technique. And I use a lot of concealer. I can't do natural makeup. Like, I'm even wearing makeup or I'm not wearing makeup. There's literally no in-between with me. Because I just keep adding and adding and adding. And I'm going to be blending that in with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. And this is, like, the big version. I think it's actually for your body. But, you know... For um, contour slash bronzer, I like to use concealer as well. And I use the Revolution Concealer again in the shade C12. My head is so big, so I like to proper put it all on there. Oh my god, it's massive. I like to put it on my cheeks, my chin a little bit, on the other side of my face. I groom my page from Facebook and my mum made a Facebook post and it got so many shares but we was asking like what I should do next and what would help me get into like the film industry and everything and what I need to do to get there. Just expecting a few responses and that's how I started to grow a bit of a following on Instagram. And people ask me how should they grow their page. And I recommend just creating a bunch of looks, maybe like a portfolio or something or so. And I recommend sharing on Facebook. Like, I never used Facebook because I thought it was like for like old people, if you know what I mean. Like mums and that. But it's honestly really good. Like, I use it all the time now. 
Now I'm going to be taking my Clinique Chubby Stick in the shade Curvy Contour. Go like that. I'm just going to stick it there and blend it in with it as well. I'm just going to do the same for the other side. Okay, so for foundation, I'm going to be using my YSL, I think it's called Touche Clot. I'm just going to use like maybe two for now. I'm going to take my Unicorn Cosmetics foundation brush. And yeah, I'm going to darken this foundation up with bronzer and everything. I'm going to use powder version. I'm just going to blend that in with it. My beauty blender. Out of all the foundations I own, that's the best foundation that I own. So now I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Fit Me powder. This is just the pressed powder. I'm just going to set my under eye. I only set my under eye because I like the rest of my face to be quite dewy, like I said before. So you can still see that I've got a little bit of luminosity. Luminosity, who do I think I am? I hate having foundation lips. Okay, and then for bronzer, I'm gonna be taking my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Give Me Sun, and I'm just gonna pat that over. One thing I do wish I had was big lips. Like, I have such small lips, so I have to catfish everyone by overlining them way too much. Sometimes I overdo it too much, I'm like, whoa. Just taking the Fenty Beauty bronzer in the shade Shady Biz. This is such a good bronzer, but it's more cool tone, so I like to put it literally right in the corners to make it look like there's more of a shadow. Yeah, it makes your face look more. I've gone a bit more heavy handed on the bronzer, like I always do, it's just because. I don't want my like, skin to look washed out. So I'm now going to be going in with my Sub-Zero Be Perfect palette with m m m m m m m m m m By the way, my palette is ruined. Like, ruined. Those two broke. I then dropped it again and broke that like little segment. But I'm going to take the shades Made It and OTT. But I'm just going to brush that on. Now I'm just going to take them other side and just popping it on my chin in my inner corner I put for my under eyes I'm just going to be taking that green shade again from the Jaclyn Hill palette right and then taking that flat brush that I used earlier I'm just going to be taking the shade mint again from the Stacey Marie palette and lighten it up again and the same for the other side for mascara I'm going to be using my Maybelline snap mascara for when it comes to mascara I don't like mind what one I use because I always wear eyelashes I really can't talk when I do my eyelashes and I pull the ugliest face ever Right, and I'm just going to pop on my eyelashes. Right, so now my eyelashes are on, I'm going to pick a lip colour. So I'm going to be using the Revolution Pro Lipsticks. These are my favourite and they're so affordable. So I'm going to be taking the shade Bare 112. And then I'm also going to be going in with Bare 111. I'm going to just put that over the top. I'm going to be going in with the Colourpop Ultra Glossy Lip in the shade Fresco. Some of these products are gifted by the way. And if you guys would like me to put all the products that I use in the description for next time, then just comment that down below as well. Because I do get asked a lot what products I use. 
okay so that's the end of today's video and i hope you guys all enjoyed it and hopefully recreate it so i can see how you guys I'm do it i'm actually really happy on how it turned out it's just like kind of cute you know thank you for watching if you made it this far and remember to comment down below on what you'd like to see next and i'll see you guys in my next video